morning if you want to come on in have a seat and scry with me have an ink blot today igniting our spirit message there's actually two Whoop. let's take a look see see if there's any messages that want to come through perhaps offering you some symbolic support I'm gonna take a moment here cleansing the palette of my eyes releasing the race in the rush activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support let's go thank you okay well I feel like I'm stepping into I feel like I'm looking around hold on I feel like I am in okay so the closest thing that uh, that can come through is stranger things like I'm in the upside down and as I'm even looking over everything skewed does that make sense so I'm not sure if this is a spirit or someone like yourself if you uh, are here with me like things might seem off but they're not off but they're off I'm seeing a raccoon a red raccoon um, I'm also seeing Okay, I'm not sure if they're angels or demons. But, uh, like I'm, I'm up in here. Hopefully you can see that with me. You know those defibrillator things like when someone's heart, right? And they restart it, but I'm seeing it up here. So somewhere in, in the, the higher auras or in the higher mind, maybe in the subconscious, Hmm. It, you know, uh, like sleep paralysis almost is how I'm feeling. Sleep paralysis. And there's a show trying to step forward in my head to help me out. Uh, I, I think it's True Blood. And I don't know what season it is or anything like that, but it's a... Is it True Blood? No, I think it is. And there's a woman... At some point in time in the show, and everything looks like there's fruit and happiness and peace, but slowly something's being built for some massive ritual. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Something's, something's being built for a ritual. Give me one moment. Okay, sorry. I just turned on the the spirit box so they could speak. <laughs> I totally forgot, right? I was all weirdly upside down. The name Gabriel came through and louder. Okay. I feel like I'm even re-stepping in. <clears throat> There's something about my throat. I don't know if this like um, sleep paralysis. Fight. It's like just some sort of nightmare that somebody might be working through or the spirit is uh, trying to escape from. But I feel like that's kind of the, the interconnected nature, whether it's someone, a spirit stepping forward that is past or someone's spirit that is currently existing in, in the density in which, you know, meat suit. That's the realm we share. Spirit is of the same. Okay, I'm seeing gnomes. Gnomes. And they... Are they... Yeah, they're gnomes. Some sort of defibrillation. Thank you for holding space for me to, to wander, gaze, and gain. Gain insights. And I keep going like, this is the sleep world, this is the waking world. And it's still ex ex existing there. 15. <clears throat> oh, something about my throat, my throat, my throat. I don't know if somebody was robbed of something in, in like their root space. Uh, generational or ancestral. 
reclaiming, reclaiming. Do you know what this could feel like if I wander down that rabbit hole? There might be something from as like an inherent gift or sensitivity. I, I don't want to use the word entitlement, but it's almost as if I can feel like a almost like a memory or something's been taken out there's something coming forward but i can't i can't see it because it's odd it's odd iron hmm okay i'm gonna carry on here but in the waking state a long time ago i'm seeing these candle i don't know maybe there was magic done and that's why i was seeing the woman before if a long time ago, thank you, there was some sort of generational or, or ancestral magic done <clears throat> to an ancestor that's like carried through the family. And someone might feel like you're carrying it right now. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's very uncomfortable to speak of. Okay. And Ritual. Ray yes thank you like a ritual because right in here sorry if my nails are start see how there's like these beings and then there's these beings and for going if there's one or two they're like zapping like a wizard and i feel like something has like a ritual has been had right from the beginning of that well, beginning ish hmm is this a cleansing of this ritual? Perhaps we're working through it. Are we working through the ritual? It's very intimidating. There's lots of noises happening outside my door. seeing a claw one of those things that pick things up it's almost it may, it's making me feel and sorry if there's a lot of blank spaces there's a lot going on it makes my belly feel very uncomfortable as if um Uh, not on a roller coaster. When I, I remember like one time I went on one of those. Uh, Cage. I think it's like a game or a ride and you, you would sit in it and watch the screen and the seats would move and there'd be vibrations and they would throw scent in the air. And it made me very nauseated. But I love roller coasters. But th this <clears throat> false sensation trying to recreate it from a still point versus maybe an actual roller coaster where I'm moving. It was nauseating. Hmm. Emperor. Okay. So if you're resonating with this spirit message, I feel as though you're working through, working through this and there's some sort of protection that has like clawed and pick you up and said, I'm going to try and help move you to a different place, perhaps in, I'm going to go subconscious. Thank you. In the mind to, to not be so affected by this. The sleep paralysis or subconscious could even be grief. Could, what coping or defense mechanism do you think you learned vicariously as a child? Yeah, this is something from that generation, like family, your generations. Thank you, Subcon. All right, I'm going to keep going here. Thank you. I see it being transformed, like moving from this ritualistic Who are they? offering beast thing and this ritual here. It's like it somehow has always been a boundary if you have felt that way or you're moving through your grief. Um, 
it's like it's some something has been a boundary but i'm also seeing it now is like the hermit lantern what was once a boundary olivia. or a block the olivia just stepped forward it could also be the illumination and now i'm seeing it like a, ch I can't. a chicken door of a haunted house like do i do i go where the little light is do I go where the little light is where and, are you? and just escape this? But am I escaping? And all these questions start coming up in my head. Like I feel confused. Everything's skewed. Everything's skewed and I, I'm not sure why. I'm seeing a, an orange hand like reaching out as if now from all these questions... I'm creating as well other ideas that could be threats or light. What is happening? No, we're working through it, love. We're working through it. Working through it. And now I'm becoming a creator of this curse, whether it's generational or grief oriented. What was your favorite place to go as a child? And why is this memory so profound to have stayed with you for so long? Oh, er, there we go. And this one came out, describe your family's characteristics. Came out to support that. Maybe that's what this feels like when I look at my family or like my, my home, like heritage home, like just things about my life, my holistic nature expressed in other people that I am connected to by the red raccoon. You can see little pieces like clues around you. I don't, I don't know if something was robbed. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to continue on here. This is a very scary story. And I don't mean scary in like haunted horror movie. I don't know how else to explain that. All right, we're going to move through for either the spirits that are going through this and they're trying to merge, not merge, move through pain to merge with their light. And those of us that are living, Angel. that are working through Hide now. perhaps this. And have been hiding or have know that feeling, know that feeling. Okay, I'm gonna move through. Thank you, thank you. King of Wands, there could be something in the male line. This might be in the male aspect with the Emperor and the King coming forward in the male lineage, or you yourself are. This is working with your male energy, your male archetypes, whatever positions Father. they might be in. Father, okay. Cool. There's like chaos happening outside my door. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the Empress has now stepped forward. Emperor and Empress. When I scry, I scry. <laughs> Thank you. It's almost as if I can see like a family line where two people, if I may, like a father and a mother, or two people that become parents. A long time ago. A long time ago, but they are of two different. It's like they mixed powers that can be perceived as curses or blessings, but somehow the blessings have been blocked or certain blessings or feelings of things making sense. Like I can just see like things just don't make sense. Why, why do these things keep happening? 
Why does everything feel off? I know I'm repeating myself. Do you see how this, it feels crazy? It feels crazy. Uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. I'm wondering if I'm misperceiving it. I'm trying to gather the strength to move through this in the spirit of spirits living and moved on different, like how can I navigate this? Okay, so now I'm in like Maze Runner land. Maze Runner land, Maze Runner, the movie. 12. Movie, 12, 12 monkeys, 12, 12 monkeys. A calendar, a calendar year, uh, could we also be 12 years? Somebody might be in like a, a deep state of grief for the last year. Why am I in a maze? Okay. When I follow the rabbit hole of the maze runner and they decide to wander through, um, I can't remember the, the main gentleman's name, but there's a group of them. And they decide to, to go in past the nighttime or something like that. And they end up meeting these like big spidery looking robots, if I recall. See, I'm all uncomfortable, but it's authentic. It is what it is. And they inevitably defeat it. But then there's like more Maze Runner movies. Yes. So it's almost how it feels like there's levels, levels in backwards. Yeah. Like this whole thing feels like upside down. Stranger things, rituals, and... Anyway, so I'm back in the Maze Runner, and you think you've completed it, and you've reached safety, and people are there to help you. And then there's a whole other maze within a maze within a maze. I'm not talking Ming Trixie stuff. This is very particular maze. Is it of control? I'm seeing... Um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum from Wonderland. But there is this air of protection up here. Jackie. Perhaps Jackie is a spirit that has passed. I really need to write down these names so I remember them. Or someone could be a source of it. Like the spirit is stepping forward to say, I I stepped forward for this ritual to help. Like a long time ago. Different lifetimes. Different. Strange. It's very, very strange. She could be stepping forward to like help fix it with you. Sorry, back to the parents, the emperor and the empress. It's like two different cultures or two different people, two different magics met and made. Ray. Ray made more in, in now their lineage. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. Oh my goodness. I've already been rambling on for like Joyce. 18 minutes. Joyce has just come through again. All right, thank you. And I'm gonna add on this deck. Whew. Thank you for being here with me. I really am trying not to rush uh, for those that perhaps enjoy the story unfolding different points and places um, and you can resonate or maybe it's, you know, soothing. Are you okay? I am okay. Are you okay? <laughs> I am simply uh, working with a few different audiences here strong thank you we are all being very strong to work through this okay sorry like share subscribe if i didn't say thank you very much links below to help a gal grow if you want your own rorschach in a reading and um uh, donate all that kind of good stuff okay so i am up here and see how like you can see them all walking book that's how many lines and lineages this has been happening. It's like I can see it growing, like a book of life, like a, someone's storybook of their family, someone's spirit of their family. And it's kind of like there. I can see different. Okay, it's getting very electric, and that's cool. And I'm getting 
super, super chilly. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, they're all very electric and different characters and different sizes through the lines and the lineage that have been kind of walking the same path or have had a particular kind of strength or insight to see things skewed. Uh, not black sheepy like, but kind of black sheepy like. And they're all heading towards, if I can follow it, seeing through to this, to this being right here. They're all walking down. Like they got to go down to where, thank you, to where I'm feeling from the other perspective that subconscious sleep paralysis spaces. And I, re I remember personally bed, yes, the sleeping state. And I'll share with you, I personally have gone through sleep paralysis and over many, many, many years. And, but it would come really sporadically. But when it did, my goodness, I am chilly. When it did come through, it was fearful. It was frightening. All the, you know, the, the typical standard emotional and physiological responses I would have. But at some point in time, it pissed me off. And I started putting myself in a position to, because it would happen in a particular room or more often. And so I started placing myself there and I'm like, okay. And I would practice through each of these paralyses moving just my finger, that's very specifically my memory, because something inside me was saying, we're gonna do this, and each time I'm here, instead of being completely overtaken by this scenario, it's synopsis I just heard, I'm gonna practice. And inevitably over time, I was able to move my finger. And I mean like years, <laughs> that was just me. Um, so not a measurement of, oh my goodness, so slow or so fast, but that was just my, my way of practicing, but I moved. And once I was able to move my finger, because to me it represented, if I can move an inch, I can move a mile, I can move a mountain. So it was like a signal to say, aha, these moments that you've been, or I've been, we've been interacting in this paralysis thing you've been teaching me and it didn't happen again. Okay. Sorry if that was like a personal rant, but maybe that would help serve, um, or inspire. It's like, and I'm cage. seeing this moving down to get out of that cage, this family line. What should I do? This family is, that's what it makes me feel like I practiced. I practice and practice and practice. I'm also seeing a wolf's head. I think it's a wolf's head. There Immune. is protection along knife. the way. I just did see the knife. Thank you. There's um, right in here. They're like daggers. Why did you come? You know that uh, trust exercise that if you fall back, I'm seeing that if I feel like if I fall back, I'm going to land on a dagger. But I'm not, as I'm this being, and I think I'm going to fall back on this trust Flash exercise light. and see that, and I'm going to land on the dagger. I'm not seeing this thin being who's like kind of, who's got me, who's got me. I'm seeing Sonic the Hedgehog as well. It's almost as if, like, if you can work through some sort of trust, maybe within the self. I don't trust myself not to take the chicken door. I don't know. Uh, like, Sonic comes through and it moves really, really quickly. I'm also seeing, like, cool guy sunglasses. Almost like, I just heard, like, is this a joke? Like, is this a cosmic joke? No, this is many lines of cause and effect, choices and consequences, decisions made, 
that are interconnected, understood. I don't know that the totality of of the effects was understood. I'm going to come over here and I want to wander into the pre-con as I'm transitioning. Sorry. Tired. <laughs> yeah, it's exhausting. Love, I know it's so exhausting. I'm tired for you, but at least I'm warmer now. So I appreciate that. What was the last time you experienced vulnerability and what do you think vulnerability is? Got to admit, it makes me land right in that sleep paralysis, nightmaric kind of state. Of course, you feel super vulnerable. It's uncomfortable. And do the people in your close circle Don't go there. provide emotional support? Well, and see, that's the thing. Like you would think, I don't want to go where I'm vulnerable. I don't want to go where I'm vulnerable. And compassionately, I got you. I understand. But there's all I'm just I think I'm feeling like there's also an opportunity when I'm in those vulnerable states in the subcon realm or in the trust fall. Because both of them have a wise people like a turtle sister could be a sister of another lifetime. The lineage traveling Why down the sleep paralysis to the trust fall on the daggers. Both of them have have beings ready to ready to help and serve if you're willing to step through this. Spirit or spirit. And then it's almost like I can see it turn around. And at some point in time, the bravery builds, the bravery builds, and the joke's on you. The joke's on the entity that tried to uh, in fact affect your lineage for longer and you're like nope I was brave I did it bit by bit bit by bit okay oh my goodness I'm seeing a nuclear power plant this could be part of a nuclear family maybe your lineage is a nuclear line or at least that's how it's feeling one more okay <clears throat> What an interesting thing to say. Hammer. It's almost as if your nuclear family, whatever that term actually means, I don't know, but I'm feeling it from, from like a spiritual space, again, lineage line or spirits and ancestors, etc. Including, even if you're someone here and now that, no has, regret. that has lost somebody, they're still part of your nuclear lineage. I don't know what that term means, okay? So I apologize that I keep using it, but it's blatantly coming through. But you're also, the point being is that power, you're also somebody's kryptonite. This could be like, this is like a, not Romeo and Juliet. What is that? Harmony, yeah. What is that? Like two family lines at conflict and war. And harmony is trying to be built. And if you are resonating with this, it could just be you are, you are the one, you are the brave one, willing, willing to slowly but surely on the camel work with the light. Oh, I just, as soon as I said that, I saw flames, not in a bad way. There's a heart and is it like a butane? I don't think it overly matters what the, what the fuel source is. It's just trying to help me with the shape. Almost like kind of like welding as well or something like that. Could be a lighter. What should I do? And it like, I don't know if it's like a flame throw. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And it lights up like a gas, like a, okay. And then it, Something that very, from the heart, shoots up these, there's some sort of fuel in there. See that? But there's something like in the creativity. It's like, yeah, you might be creative in the way you go about it, 
placing things around you to, to help. Over, over Pessy, I wanted to say overpower because this, this side is trying to come back in to say overpower. Mm. Just to, rem to remain in power of your person. Coming to get me. For the harmony. Under. Yeah. They want that overpower to come through. Even as this, like my voice is cleared up. Thank Four. You, thankfully. And there's smoke and steam coming out of the top as this fire starts to burn and like cleanse out this uh, ritual or energy. And then like, uh, it's like, They're kind of like wings, but I'm almost seeing it like a feather boa. Quiet Daughter. strength and strength turmoil. But what they share is strength. School. It's Don't almost leave. like strength Back. turmoil. Yeah. Quiet strength. Gregory. Gregory has come through as well. Demon. It's it's here. Strength, turmoil, quiet strength. It doesn't want me to acknowledge that. Some sort of bravery. Some sort of bravery. The quiet strength. There's a hawk up there as well that is watching. Freedom from this feeling. Freedom from this feeling. No matter which rabbit hole or line I go through, the family curse to um, the sleep paralysis to grief, this, that, or the other. Oh, for heavens and hot dogs, excuse me. It's like right under the table, almost unreachable. One moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Storm. Help. Yeah, we're here to help you move through the storm. The fault line and the forest. Play with me. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to place these for a moment. Soon. And one more if I can get the top one. The medallion. See how in this creature, energy, the fault line of the families, the fault line of the families. Far away. I feel like there might have been a trust thing that happened. Remember the whole trust fall? Two families sure. came together, merged magics, or something, power struggles, this, that, or the other. Somebody wanted the medallion. Is there a card behind here? No, we're good. That's, I hope that you can feel the story because there's a lot of narration going on in my head, but I almost stop it because it seems Covered. futile, but that I'm trying not to, to not be compassionate about it, but it, bribe. thank you. There Jack. might bribe and Jack. So there might've been like an injustice or something. <clears throat> But it feels virusy. Like if I wander too far into this, I in turn could could interact with it and get involved. And I don't want to because it's not not mine. Respectfully, it's not mine. But it's like chasing this medallion of sorts, Less. this this power. And then I come over here to this to the soul. If you're sitting with me, to this to the soul of the spirit that is here Open. with me. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna close this out in a few minutes. If you have anything else to say, and this forest of coming out haunted forest or peaceful forest strength turmoil quiet strength emperor empress everyone's there and it feels like what has been storms before 
perhaps in the sensations of sleep. Bravery bit by bit to, to work through it, to understand it, to tilt everything into its place. Early. You become the storm. Smoke. And it blows. It vents out this stuff that just is. Okay, we're closing out here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, moving through your forest. The insect has come forward. Uh, uh, there we go. Also feels like that fault line of that infectious stuff. So I feel like some, whether it's grief, family, mother, father, separate, something along that lines could have, I could have felt like that. But you're moving through it, moving beyond it. The ancestor is stepping forward. Because if it doesn't make sense, it could be because it's not here in this current incarnation. But there's clues all around. Clues all around the ladder. Yes, you're going up. See the forest through the trees. See the forest through the trees. Climbing, obviously not actually climbing a tree or symbolically speaking. They are all clues for you to climb higher if you're willing. Bravery bit by bit. Bravery bit by bit. You might feel alone. You might feel alone. You might even feel small, the waltzing mouse. You might even feel small. But this is reminding me of Leave Alice, me alone. In, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, you might feel Horror. alone. And like you're in a scary movie of a storm. But Alice in Wonderland. Remember like when she's on the table and she becomes really small with the key somewhere else or, or she's really small. Perception, right? It's like, oh, well, now I'm small. The key's too big or I don't have the key I need to be big to get the key because the door's small something along that lines and it can actually work to your it can actually work to your advantage and Wonderland if I recall I'm not entirely sure if in its original state it's not the point the experience of Wonderland it is both nightmarish and wonderful as one works through ritual the unknown as one works through everything being odd and yet perfectly in place for you to perceive it if you wish okay thank you so much i am so so grateful for your time and attention and your support i'm going to give everything a good sage and help those move through from the spirit space and uh including yourself. I want to thank you. And until next time, have a great day.